Right, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. But before we get started, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications and give this video a huge thumbs up. Right, today we're on the elusive search for the Flyer Garrix, Amanita Muscaria, Flyer Garrick and the Liberty Caps. Look at the nipple on the top. So yeah, basically we're out there today and obviously we're going to be showing you um, a couple of other things that we find as usual on the way. So it's not just basically about magics today, it's about whatever I come across and hopefully I find some magics. Got a few good spots I'm going to have a look at. So right, I'll cut back soon when we're on the trail. We've got Jacob the mushroom spotter out of us today, look. Right people. And I found something here, yeah? It's not super, super rare, but it's, it is quite a hard one to find. This is only a small one. This is beefsteak fungus quite a popular one with like vegans and stuff like that because it's a steak substitute basically so right look what I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna just break a little bit off and show you one of the key points of identifying this mushroom right so look I've peeled a little bit off there look watch what happens as I do this uh -huh. The steak's bleeding on me, Terry. <laughs> As you can see round here, look. You've got the little blood droplets forming. And like I said, this is a key way to identify the beef steak mushroom. So guys, research it. There's another little one here, look, what Jacob's fan. Bleeding already. This one's been attacked by squirrels and... That's these critters breakfast. Very delicious. You know what I mean? But as you can see, look, as soon as you start touching it, it starts bleeding on your toe. Look at that. Look, I'm going to pull a little bit out, look. Look at that. It looks like a nice bit of steak. It does. Looks like beef. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, so then people, we're in um, one of the fields that I know do have these Liberty Caps and obviously we're just scanning now, just having a quick scan, but as we have come past and we're on this, we found these, look, the Latin name is Calvartia Gigantia, basically like giant puffballs, these just grow in the middle of the field and basically people just kick them people go past them and like it's renowned for people just kicking them because they do get massive these ones aren't that big but they are a very nice edible species of mushroom that's what's inside so yeah if you do ever see any of these they can grow up to football size and bigger so if you find one food for many i'm gonna leave these here and hopefully they spread the spores not big enough for me to take if it was a bit bigger i'd have took them right people yeah basically i've just come past a birch tree here look and as you can see is a birch polypore that's what these are basically yeah you, they can be used for medicinal purposes look they're all the way up the tree they can be used for medicinal purposes you can make tea with this you can make tea with it also also you can use it for like plasters because they've got like antiseptic healing properties in them so when you're out and you cut yourself and you've got nothing can basically use the birch polypore what I've just shown you there cut a slice off get a little thin slice and just use it as a plaster and that's got the antiseptic in it as well so look it up birch polypore you'll see them everywhere to be fair they're common so bam right people listen it's been a couple of days me doing this video now yeah the dogs here going mad again as usual but I'm proud to present you something that I've just found yeah We get it from this way, look. Hello, Mr. Liberty Cap. So, right, basically, here, yeah, this is a very good prime example. I'm going to pluck it now. I'll just show you another. Look, this is the sort of grass they're growing in. Can you see the little baby one there as well? Look, look at the nipple on the top. That is the prime example to show you. I'm going to try and pick this right from the bottom. Right from the bottom because they've all got psilocybin in them 
and obviously the further you go down, usually with these Liberty caps, the further you go down, you start to see some blue on them. So I'm going to get these little babies here. And when I was looking and I spotted them, I spotted this to my left, to my right. Look. Wait. Hello. Oh my god, and there's more in there. Yeah, so I found a nice little clutch here. Right, so basically, yeah, look. Liberty caps. The original magic mushrooms. And you can see a little bit of blue in on that root. I don't think you'll get it on this because my camera's crap. But I'll be getting a new camera soon as well, so you'll be seeing some better content and better pictures on my videos but look at that look that's prime example and it's quite white at the minute because it's it's wet the ground's wet but basically as they dry up and as the sun comes on them they go this white color so they're a lot easier to spot prime they are cut the nipple on the top yeah i'm gonna pick the lie down you i'm gonna pick these other ones now one Two, move, three, like look, this one, this one's a little bit darker look because it's not as dry and it was in the thick of the grass, still a lib cap though, definitely, I'm going to put that one there, I'm going to get into this, here look, look, look at this little clutch here, absolutely beautiful, they're all going in that little pile there for now. And I'm actually buzzing to show you these. Come here, you. I'm actually buzzing to show you these. And it's quite a good little clutch, this is. Usually you find them in ones and twos. But when you find a good patch, you can find nice big clutches. Look. That's my first little clutch here. I knew there was that because I had some the other day, but my phone was died, so I couldn't film them. But yeah, like I say to you, I'm going to put the Latin name in the description. I know it, but it's just hard for me to explain sometimes and say it. Beautiful, nice Liberty Caps. Magical, beautiful, wonderful night, Terry. We're back in the game and soon, oh my God. But yeah, now I've got these, after I'm going to do this video, I'm going to prepare for the next video, which is going to be on magic mushrooms. <laughs> right, and just another quick one whilst I'm in this field as well, because these here seem to grow a lot where I find my liberty caps. And if you look, look, they're everywhere. They're all just starting to pop up now. These wax caps, look, let me pick one. These ones... The orange, they look similar to me. I don't think they are parrot wax caps because parrot wax caps have a bit of green on them, like a green and orangey, like a parrot. But you get many types of different wax caps and lots of them are edible. Loads of them are edible, to be fair. You get the snowy wax caps. You can use them as decoration as well. You can just basically top your meal off with them, do you know what I mean? And they look colourful and nice. So, but also, like I say, always do your research. Don't just take my word on things because, like I tell you, I'm not an expert. I just know what I've picked up. And like I said, if people do know other different things about mushrooms, please let me know. If I'm saying something wrong or something like that, let me know, like I always say in the videos, because I'm still learning as well. Thank you. Come again. Right, people, I told you, <clears throat> today's the day, yeah? Your adventure into Slick, Swick, Slick Rick's Wonderland. Slick Rick's Wonderland. Right. I spotted them coming down the hill, mate. But look at this, look, I'm going to spin the camera here and you're going to spot them straight away. But this is what I'm talking about when I say Slick Rick's Wonderland. See them there, look. Magical. Look, another one there. What's so much knocked down? Probably a squirrel. So what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to pick these now. Look, there's another little one there. Another one that's popped up and that's been destroyed by an animal. So yeah, I'm going to pick these couple here now that I can see. I'm going to take them over to there and show you the Liberty Caps. And show you 
the fly agaric, Amanita muscari, I'll tell you a little bit more about them and then we'll go hunting for some. Right, so people, here's my little collection of what I've got yet so far. These are the lib caps, Psilocybe semelinceta or something like that is the Latin name. But like I said, it's hard for me to pronounce, so look it up and it's something like that. But yeah, there you are, Liberty Caps, look. Basically, I've been collecting these a while, so I do know which ones are which, and these are certified 100% Liberty Caps. If you look there, you can just see a little bit of the bluing. I don't know if it's showing up anyway, but yeah, you can see the bottom of the bluing. So that's always a good indicator and a good sign that you have got a psilocybin, psilocybin mushroom. Basically, these are took in many different ways. A lot of people take them just to get a trip and take a lot of them, but also people take them as medication. People take them for anxiety, depression, all sorts of mental illnesses and stuff like that, and literally swear by them. But moving on to these anyway, these are the Fly Agaric Amanita Muscaria. I've turned them all different angles like that, so you can see a few key features of them, look. The gills underneath, quite close, very close, lot overlapping, stuff like that. This one underneath here, look, the skirt hasn't opened yet. So that's what they look like as they're growing. They grow from like an egg sort of look thing. Not an egg, but they look like a small egg as they're growing. And this one is a big open one, open top. You can see the skirt there, look. The skirt there that was attached underneath, and then obviously as it opens up, the skirt comes off. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you a bit more about these fly agarics, like why they're called that, and all a few little facts about them, and maybe some myths as we're picking. So right, stay tuned people, and let's go on the hunt for some fly agarics. Right, what I'm going to do is just, I've put my liberty caps in my pocket because they're small and too valuable to me. But these ones, I'm going to stash them there, look. I'm going to stash them there, because I know for a fact that we're going to be finding some any second now. Like, I'm adamant. Right, my memory just ran out, so I don't know how far of that I got until I get back and edit it all. But yeah, basically, um, I'm, in the, I'm in the bushes, and I'm going to a spot now which is renowned, for me anyway, to find. So, if they're not here, so much not right. But I'm pretty positive they will be. So look, let me just show you. Before I start looking. This is the sort of area I'm in at the minute. Many silver birch trees, which are very good host trees for these fly garricks. So, yeah, if you find birch trees, you've probably got a good chance of finding... Oh my God, bam! Boom! Look how bright that is sticking out, and this is a good one as well. This is a, oh my god, look. Bam, bam, I told you this is a good spot for me, and there's going to be many more around here. Weather's absolutely beautiful. As you can see though, look, right, Amanita muscaria, the fly agaric. Basically, this one's a nice specimen, look. That is a specimen. You can see it's been nibbled a little bit. But yeah, basically, the fly agarics, one interesting fact for you, I'm going to pull this one. Oh my God. Oh my, look at that. That is a specimen. The skirt's not open, so I know there's no creatures been eating the top bit. <sighs> what can I say? Speaks for itself anyway. But yeah, a little fact about why they are called fly agarics as a common name. Obviously, the Latin name is Amanita muscaria. So... The common name, fly agaric. Basically, what they used to do is they used to put them near the fireplace in the olden days, and it'd deter flies. So, whether it's true or not, if you've got flies or this and the other, try it. Get a fly agaric, put it near your fire, and just let it scare the flies away. Right, people, fasten your seatbelts. Yeah, not even a second ago, well, five seconds ago, I've just found that lock. There's its little baby brother or cousin or something. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, right there. But look what's disguised underneath it. And this is a very, very, very good find to show you. An amazing find, in fact. I'm going to leave the little fly garrick there, because I don't need that. 
but look what's growing underneath it. Beautiful specimen of a sep. What a specimen, mate. One of the most tastiest mushrooms you can find. A sep. Beautiful. Seps, basically, yeah. They can be usually, usually common name is from his penny bun. They call him a penny bun because at the top, look, it looks like a little cob. Obviously, I'm from Nottingham, so I say cob, you say bun, you say balm, I say bat, talk to me. But yeah, usually the top, look, it's been nibbled. So I'm going to try and find another one of these because it's a very nice, tasty mushroom. I'm going to take it back and I'm eat this as well. But yeah, like I say, I'm going to try and find a better one so you can actually see the top and they just do look like cobs. And that's why they're called penny buns. So yeah, keep your eye out for them. And if it looks like a cob, make a cheese sandwich with it, Doc. Terry, I've only got an eat the jackpot. Right, move you. Look. My goodness, look look down here, look, look, look at the top, looks like a cob, looks like a bat bomb, whatever you want to call it, there's another one that's already been poked out by, and a little babby on it, look, this one's got a, <laughs> but yeah, look at this, this is prime, and this is what I was telling you about, I'm looking like cobs, that looks like a little cob from Bud's lot, look how big and fat the, the stem is, yeah, so that is a penny bun, a sep, a very tasty mushroom that I'm going to enjoy later for my dinner. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm sure I'll show you. Oh my god! Bill! This is the best one I've ever found. Just look at that! My... Oh yeah! Oh! Is it the jackpot, Bill? Mwah! Look! Cob! Cob! Penny bun! Sep! Beautiful specimen! Buzzing! Right people, the heavens have opened. It's absolutely pissing it, Dad. Here's my stash so far. Oh my God, it's absolutely nailing it down. And like I say, this is the this is the joys of being outdoors. Absolutely nailing it down. Look, dogs in there foraging. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, beautiful Bill. Right, people, it's absolutely nailing it down. I'm at another little patch lock of fly garricks. I'm just gonna check this one. Leave the rest of spore up. You can see something behind it as well, look. There's mushrooms everywhere when it's like this, damp and gets a bit colder. Look at the skirt on that one. Ooh, pretty. But yeah, basically, Amanita muscaria. Here's another, here's another fact or myth or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, basically, because Amanita muscaria, they've got toxins in them. You can't just eat them like this, but they have other, also got other benefits. And they have got, not psilocybin, but they've got, basically, mind-altering things in there so they can be used as different things but you need to get the toxins out properly so if you do eat these you are going to be sick if you don't know what you're doing so basically find out what you're doing first yeah and also they used to basically i'm trying to keep out the rain they used to basically um collect sacks and sacks and sacks of these and trade right people that was my the rain got too mad there so i had to dip and it kept messing with my equipment and all that. So basically, what I was trying to tell you is, like, back in the day, these Amanita muscarias, the red ones, the fly garricks, they used to trade them in some place where they had reindeers, and they used to trade them for reindeers, big sacks of them for reindeers, and then the people who they used to trade them with, they used to feed them to the reindeers, and then collect the piss from the reindeers, because the reindeers absorbed all the toxins that's in the fly garricks, absorbed all the toxins through digestion, and then obviously the piss just contained the active ingredient to send them over the rainbow or do whatever you should do with it. So there's another little fact or myth for you to have a little look up or whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, it's just a quick bit of information about these fly garricks. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you basically what I ended up with today. Here's my... Seps, my penny buns. 
right there look big juicy giants there's my bolletus edulus i think it is could just be a birch bow layer i'm not too sure but it's edible anyway i know that and then here's my fly garrix look here's my libs here's my liberty caps psilocybin and just a few of my other ones look you can see under there look the skirt just come off these ones the skirt hasn't come off yet but yeah some nice nice mushrooms Terry but yeah if I've missed anything be sure to put them down in the comments if you like this video please share it if I've missed anything before or if I've got anything wrong that you think I have then please tell me please comment in the box below it's all my brass bill it's all my brass bill it's all my brass mushrooms now but yeah like I say thanks for watching people make sure you share if you're not subscribed click that button yeah let's get this going for you please just share this everywhere all information take care Right, basically, no, me got to call and me cough and me do everything me now. Me don't need that thing, yo. Why for you wanna lie to me? Why you wanna lie? Oh, why you wanna lie to me? Tell me the thing. Why you wanna lie? Now, go to the best place in the world and you can't believe. Emily, telling me about right, the vaccination that I didn't receive. I'm not giving it to me. I don't need oh nothing God, that you lot. can give me. Me have Come no coke, me have no goddamn fucking disease. I was from abroad, if me have two, me have no goddamn fucking disease. I was from abroad, if me have two, yes, I swim the channel, if me have two. All these serious be coming here. But me be be be, yes, me be in past two. Me going in overweight. I recline overweight. I overweight. I recline overweight. Yes, me go the other way. Overweight. Yes, me go the other way. Why you want to lie to me? Tell me. Why you want to lie? Tell me. Why you want to lie to me? Tell me. Why you want to lie? Yeah. Yes, me gonna swim, gonna struggle Yes, me gonna do it Pass all your bullshit and Me no wanna hear that yeah. thing yeah. Now me no wanna hear it No, no Me no wanna hear that thing No going That's on nice. Every time you're talking yeah. about yeah. the thing you saw I don't know what's really going on But you're talking too much shit Yo, yeah. yo, yeah I don't wanna hear that shit It be slick, Rick Talking all your fucking wash, I don't want it. Wash, wash, wishy, washy, don't chat shit to me, cause Come I'm not up. hearing. Sit. Why you wanna lie to me? Why you wanna lie? Yeah, why you want to lie yeah, I, to me? Nice. Tell them why you wanna be lie. Nice. Yeah. Tell me lies in the morning, lies in the night. Tell me lies when I wake up, I, lies in the night. Even when I'm chilling all alone. When I'm mama, with me bedding on the phone I cannot lie to me Why you wanna lie? Right, so basically, Oi. yeah We're in the field